to my playthrough of Fable Anniversary. <sighs> Sorry for the length of this video, but there is no safe place to save the game in the very beginning of this. And if you quit, you end up Uh, basically repeating what you've already done from a checkpoint. And there's only a couple of checkpoints. The very start after this introduction. Deep in the forest of Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale. Changed by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother. Mine always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay. This part is basically your tutorial to get to know the basic commands. You have uh, five missions to do, each one giving you a gold coin. You can either do what they call, consider evil. What? Look, sonny, my wife's like a man. Tell you what. Like here, this is your evil choice. Just don't tell my wife. And. Supposedly telling his wife about him cheating is the good choice, but I don't know who that's good for. Now this is the only mission you could actually do both, the good and the bad, and get an extra gold coin. But for this playthrough, I decided to do it legit. Wait till I get my hands on that pig! Stock available! Alright, for this one, My the bad the bed, is breaking all the stuff, break stuff, killing some beetles that are hidden in the thing. But it seems you can't you shut him up. Because he is the most annoying part of this mission. Oh, you're no fun at all. Look, you can bust up all the stuff, find a single gold coin, and fight some beetles. Or as much as you can in that time period. Excellent. 
Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big. So there's favor. two gold coins. I'll let you. <coughs> I think after this. Look, that right. Got you. You. I've heard with violent con. That sort of be. If you were older, you'd be. You need to decide. Get the little I'll... BS speech from the. Guard. But mm. I'm a man of my but if you think that I'll turn a blind eye look, try to keep so have you got Well as I was gonna say. But even though this is uh Basically, an HD remaster for their anniversary. It still plays the same as all the different guides. I'm sorry, I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. But the humor in it just does not hold up well after 20 years. She'll be safe with you. But that is it. This game is 20 years old. In September, I believe. I even think you can play this through doing both the evil and the good. Hitting both ends of the spectrum. Hmm. I'm a man, but if you think that I'll turn it up, try it well. And the easiest way to do that is get strong enough to wipe everybody out in town, including the guards. Hello, lad. Some little good, and it seems he just going to. Young sir. Yeah. And there's really nothing else to do in this town. But all speculations, like which way you really want to go with your characters, is all a moot point until we get through this. Hour long Hello. prologue. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it or is. Near like enough. Did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Yeah, I did look around a little bit, but there's really nothing here. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! And if I... I don't remember correctly because, like I said, it's been about 20 years since I played this game. And I played the Lost Chapters version originally. And still have it for my computer. I can't remember if they confirm it, but I always suspected the guild was behind the attack. Pause it for the story. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, 
Their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was then they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away, his whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. And the way that picture is just proves my suspicion. Fortunately, there's really only one path to go to get to the next part. With more blah 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 story after. Like I said, there's really not much we can do until the next part. leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them. And he just lied to the boy saying they were all dead. When the only one dead at this time is the dad. But there's not much the kid can do about it. Or you can do however you want to look at it. stronger stomach than that come on save your energy boy it's not me you want to fight you might not realize it but I just saved your life there's nothing left for you in Oakvale and if you would stayed you'd be as dead as the rest of them come with me and I hate to say it but what puts a lie to him saying the everyone was made. dead and I'm the head of the guild of in that town. You must have heard of it. As you do run into that, that little girl you Arabia. gave the teddy bear to you're as an adult. To call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training but that that's can offer. not for quite a few hours from here. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the guild master. Depending on all we do between the end of this part and going on with the story. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like no, he doesn't to look me. much like it's a guild master to me, to so we're even. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the <coughs> right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> and we're about to be introduced to the rival. A stupid little brat. That stays a brat the whole way up. through. You must be my and whether mate. you're going the good route or the evil route, my name's Whisper. the whole point is to month. kick her butt up around her ears every time you meet too. her. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. 
Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Going through this part of the story with her, Looks like the Guildmaster if you stop anywhere after you get control, the river. Let's go. you have to go through all that again. That's why this video is so long. Because it was the only way to film this without cutting it. Show everything you can do. Yeah, I pick up the, the stuff on the ground you finally... that right, you need for other quests you later that get you some get decent rewards for this level now, of the game. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. But Making this is basically there, an hour long yeah, tu tutorial on all the commands and all your weapons and abilities and how to level ah, up. Now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. <coughs> well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your skill. Yeah. I'll wait for you at the guild woods end. And they talk about, uh... The problem. Abusive relationships. Done, talk about starting Throwing a little seven year old orphan out into the woods to beat the hell out of something. And not caring if they live or die. And at this point, I grabbed them all because I couldn't remember how many I really needed for the uh, quest that's after this. At least that got you a little bit of starting gold. And really, other than getting through the tutorial and finishing up all the little side quests that Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a are hidden here to get some extra yourself some stuff right? and equipment. If you want more gold, I'm sure the this is basically the point of the game. You just want to get, get through as quickly right? as possible. But Come and see me when you're I went after all that stuff because it beats not having. For the most part, they mark everybody with a quest, a side quest, to make an apple pie, but I can't that you can fun. talk to. Thanks. Thank you so much. So you give her some apples for a blueberry pie. And then I think we... Just have a uh, race with this fella. 
to the demon door and back. We're discussing. I ran to the. Right then. I did it in 50 seconds. <sighs> and this is good practice for getting used to the controls. To be honest. Just don't talk to the demon door. And watch you getting hung up because the camera's crap. And you should be able to make it with f five to one second to spare. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for my injury, that's amazing. How did you do? And you go up here to listen to a little bit more of a story. The journey's length is of no consequence. The Oracle must be protected. How can you be so sure? We might need you here. Who knows what battles we might face. The signs are too strong to ignore. And the Northern Wastes have been too long isolated from the Guild. There is much I may learn there. Well, I hope nobody thinks you're running away from a fight, trying to cheat death again. You know how people talk. Talk is of no matter to me. May death close his eyes to you, Maze. What are you waiting for? Come in. That was Scythe. He was a great hero once, back when he had flesh on his bones and blood in his veins. Sadly, these NPCs are not NPCs you can kill later on in the game. But once you get through his blah blah, it's time to end this part and go on to the next. Your train. Now it's time to move on to a the guild graduation. The, the memory of the Oakvale flame still scorched his mind, but soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice just as Maze had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the Guildmaster on the other side of the river, but that was an hour ago. We better get going. Race there. Yeah, she's easy enough to beat. Once you know the route. Now we learn about combat, which is sword fighting, magic, and the bow. There are only three choices. Late again. You can put that <coughs> away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Get used to the weight of this sword, and let's see if you can. And um, this first battle. Come on, then. Teaches you how to attack and block. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach now, if you come back once there's another instructor here, you can beat her for a better weapon. But to do that, 
I think she can't touch you. you can't stop me every time. So that means you gotta block all of her attacks Let's while doing damage to her. Might be able to take a hit, but I'm not sure. You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some farm boy. And I think you get to kill him later. Enough to keep up with my whisper. Well, why don't we see? a good thing he's an ass. Just work on their melee skills now. All right. Not sure if you get to kill her or not. Most in their training. This will be a no holds barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourself. Ah, lucky shot. That's all wrong, Whisper. And the whole point is just to beat her every time you go up against her. Whether it's in training, like here, if you want to go there yourself one or on the quest, when the game actually gets started. Without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. Speaking of which, meet me as I make my way to the archery range. When you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Are you ready for your archery training? Now the nice Just thing is, training with the bow. since it doesn't really let you save See if you can hit the three stationary targets. for you. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more do all these. But make sure you stay within the circle. With the uh, trainer there. And you'd have to repeat all of this again. They do give you more than one attempt to get the items. Well done. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's see what you can do. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Honestly, this is all about timing. Marvelous. It's easier just to rack them up with high high damage shots on that closest one. I think I broke a hundred. And I do experiment a little bit. Because you can really rack up the points when they're behind cover. Because you're hitting them with more damage. <coughs> but since he doesn't give you anything, next we will learn. About yeah, kind of want to keep it low to me when you're and just get used to the bow. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. Any princes want to practice melee combat? Yeah, they say practice. 
that's what gets you the better items if you win and win cleanly. And the sad part is I'm just walking normally and that guy's so slow. And it's so annoying. And then you gotta put up with his annoying freaking voice the rest of the game. Just the will. Sorry to the voice actor, but it's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin the way that character's done, you right. just wanna punch him in the face. Alright. Let's see what you've got. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Now the trick to the this is facing the center of the island. You won't getting to the right point you only where your, your targeting your draws you your and once used, it takes through all three of them and back to the first one you hit. And there's a very good place to stand to do it. But occasionally you're going to have to mess with your camera get it to target properly. And it doesn't help you'll target that moron or the practice trainer. If the scarecrow hasn't flipped well yet. Done. But with that, you got all three done. Very good, lad. You have learned the <sighs> Now it's a matter of hitting all three again to get the butter items. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods. If and finishing out the storyline. We're more than halfway through this video. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. So, like I said, this is just a matter of talking to these three guys. Any apprentices want to practice getting a top right. score. Right. Let's get and get the special prize. Which makes the... And if you can get all three special prizes, it'll make the start of this really easy. All right, you can stop now. That was very impressive. And getting an A plus there, that means you can take a, at least a hit. Any apprentices for art? Now the guild masters. Now from him. And if you get an ape, you've got You one get a crossbow. But as you'll see me play. Further and further along. I stick with the bow just because it's faster. at the beginning. And if you time it right, you can occasionally get the one in the far back and you'll get the one in the front way more. And every once in a while, you'll catch the one in the middle, too. I think I'm about even. Nice work. Yeah, that's good enough score for a, well, a B. Remember, you can still come back and try and get that A+. Plus. Now, the guild master. And if you get an... You've got one... And out of the three tests, this one's actually the roughest.
Excellent power. Was superb. <coughs> wow, you, you set a new high score. Well, I ain't never seen any better than that. You've got an A plus. The guildmaster said if anyone shot brilliant, I could award like them. Like I this. said, get a crossbow. Has more power, but it takes longer to shoot. You really showed this. At least at the beginning. You've got thirty seconds once there's a special. Getting the right rhythm without being thrown off by picking up the other guy. That's why you keep seeing me shift the camera and him. Because the camera will automatically point the way he's looking. That's astonishing. Bloody hell. A plus. The guild master said to award and with that, it's done. We go talk to the guild master. And finish up this seen anyone perform better long, than boring part of the beginning of the game. Now, I did take a minute to see if there was anything else you could get in the Guild Woods. And there is... A bit of mini quest that'll get you some money, like killing off Did all these bandits. It's coming from over there. Either with and your bow or magic. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow, or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. And every time <coughs> you kill off a bad guy, you, you get something. Did you see Either the look on uh, their faces? positive or a negative, depending on who this. you're killing. <coughs> There's nothing else we can do here at this time. I tried to get those experience orbs, but they won't cross across the water. Uh, the other quest is killing off the ravens. And for some reason it gives you all the these negative points. Oh, these bloody birds. I need someone to Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. But heck, it's I'll better killing them off with a bow than it is with poison. Just come and see me every time you kill Poison can affect more than more than just the birds, so it's better to shoot them with an arrow.
And don't forget to collect the experience orbs. The beginning experience is very hard to come by. And you're going to want as many as you can. And like I said, the camera is a pain in the butt because it does that. Now I've played with the settings and it'll still do that. It really makes it rough in a big fight. I think that's the last one. <coughs> Here's a little bonus. Alright, the last thing you gotta learn here is for years the guild was his home, ah. his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. Is how to distribute your experience, experience points that had been torn from him. And beat the heck out of Maze. Last, only the final day of without killing him. Unfortunately. Success would mark the end of his training. To finish up this part of the be free to forge his own destiny mission he will become story. a hero before you graduate there is one final test you must complete enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill and the for this part there's there. as long as you life. did all those quests when you had the chance I believe you did the side quests, not the three trainers. I suppose There's nothing else to do, so it's test, beat the crap out of him so using you must everything you learned. Using all you've learned in your years of training, and we'll learn how to distribute your experience you points. Come on! Put some anger into it! Very good. Now, shoot... Excellent. And finally. <coughs> That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather Yeah, you can actually ones. kill the but you have passed your guys final talking test, to you like that. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. No. Can't do anything with that until later. Yeah, I don't think there's anything you can do here until later again, other than get your quests. 
this is the day, lad. I remember the first time. Because, uh, and look at you now. Until you get a fishing pole either by buying one in the closest town or getting one for free a little later. Let the apprentices approach. You can't get that uh, fishing spot. I think it's a it's, it's over key. And the only other things left is the demon door that you can't open until close to late game. Or the treasure chest, the silver key chest, which I think you need 50 for. 25 at least. Whether they lead you down the path of good or evil will change. Guild seals and venture At least with that guild seal you can teleport back to the guild later. But you gotta put up with his annoying voice reminding you that there's a quest waiting for you. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much You can do whatever you feel like with the experience, that, but eventually you're gonna have everything anyway. And you'll need to return Especially to the since the, this edition Who has all the lost chapter content and anything the else they decided to add to, to the game it. between the lost chapters and this edition. I think I just chose to up my combat abilities at the beginning. And do a little bit of feature planning by looking at what I'm going to need later for the skills I like to use. And every time you level up, it ages you. So eventually, you look like an old man and you're only supposed to be a teenager. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will All right. Thank you for watching this. If you like it, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. I do have a few more of these recorded that I'll be putting up. Thank you for your time.